We set out to look at this specific case in Sierra Leone, the where uh, Adax Bioenergy had set up uh, a kind of a unique, a unique project. So we set out to look at how the agro-industrial investments within Sierra Leone had impacted the communities that were involved or that were incorporated into the land area that was that was invested in. So what we looked to do, well, this was quite unique in Sierra Leone because normally, or in, in most cases, communities are moved off from from the land. Uh, but in this case, uh, the investors uh, and the investing company had decided to leave the villages in place. And what we wanted to do was to study the impact that the establishment of the investment had on those livelihoods of the people in those communities. I think the main thing that this project is trying to get across is that it's not black or white whether whether it's a good or, or bad impact but it's a whole mix of different uh, issues and different challenges that both uh, the investor has in the area and also within the communities and within the regional and, and national governments as well. So what we tried to get across in the report was the fact that it's, it's more than just uh, our investments good or bad but actually looking at trying to look in depth at what are the aspects that have resulted in positive impacts and what are the aspects that have resulted in uh, not necessarily negative impacts but or where were opportunities missed. And what we found was that actually there, due to a lack of, of clear policies and clear implementing agencies for those policies in Sierra Leone, um, the investment was, was able to take place in a, almost in a kind of a, a void of, uh, of um, regulation, you can say. Uh, and that's not to say that the investment itself has uh, been conducting itself in, in a way that is, uh, has negative impacts on the environment, on the, the livelihoods, or in terms of its success and profitability. But I think that there is a, there is a lack of monitoring and, and of holding to account. The motivation for this report was that there wasn't really a, a independent evidence-based um, reference for the investment in McKinney. There wasn't anything out there. And so what we tried to do was to, as much as we could, look to um, just provide information from, from both sides and, and with all actors just to make an account of what, what we saw was, was happening on the ground and what we could provide evidence for. Um, and I think where we go from here is that we're, we're trying to give our, our report and, and the feedback that it contains to relevant government agencies, to the investors themselves and to many of the stakeholders in the project. Um, and we hope that that will be a foundation for the next step in research, which can be more directed and more clearly focused on specific parts of the investment.